Welcome to ITS uh, here in Japan uh, at Huawei stand. Huawei is here at the um, ITS to present the latest <laughs> achievements on technology to help transport companies in the transport sector to achieve their goals in improving of efficiency of their transport um, networks. Um, here at uh, Huawei stand, we actually provide a number of um, technologies which showcase how in our customers benefit today already from applying these technologies in their certain um, um, fields of, of expertise. Right here you see our ELTE solution we use for our public mobile radio applications. Um, ELTA is actually a successor technology of GSMR. Um, Huawei is um, active, active in the transport sector since 1996 and from our experience working with companies in the, in the transport, um, ELTA actually um, gained a lot of experience and functionality um, on how to improve voice and data communication for day-to-day -day operation of transport companies. Um, ELTE, uh, this application here, shows on a very small scale um, how um, push-to-talk functionality not only works on voice services, but also on video services, meaning um, I can not only now explain what the maintenance status of a situation of a cabinet is, I can now also communicate that via a video and not only to my immediate superior but also I can conference in other experts so all of them see exactly what I see and exchange that information. With applying ELTE PMR functionality it is now possible to much quicker exchange status information and provide up-to-date information from experts off-site on how to resolve the situation. ELTE is not only a technology used in the transport sector for um, video and push-to-talk functionality, also it is used as a transmission service to collect information from traffic lights, collect information from other parts of the network and without cable transmit them in the processing area of my transport organization. So with other words, P, um, ELTA allows me to easily access information and then transfer that information into my control centers. How exactly I can transfer information from ELTA into the other parts of my network, we will see right next at our stand um, explaining the barrier services um, supplied by Huawei. Right here at our Intelligent Transport Barriers Network area, we actually see how Huawei equipment is being used to transport information from local sites along a road, uh, or local sites at the traffic light, or even at train stations or other parts of the public transport system. How are these information being collected and then transmitted to a core network for further processing? So there's a wide range of equipment available, being optical equipment, OSN series routers, which allow high reliability transmission of information into the core network. Um, on this side, you actually see a very nice overview of how that information is being collected and transmitted in that specific part for a road network. Um, right here, following you see the hierarchical architecture of the um, network, how different areas, um, not either it's being video surveillance or it's being um, information from toll roads are then collected, sent up to the next hierarchy of the network and then last but not least being processed in, in, the, in, the, in the headquarters of the organization. Right now we are here at our transport big data area of the Huawei stand. Um, operating a public transport system or maintaining a congestion free road system in the town or maybe even synchronizing both of the systems and providing the most reliable and efficient way for a passenger to move from A to B in a city requires to collect a lot of data and to process the data. And this is why we are the big data application here. 
We are talking about collecting video surveillance situations, measuring the amount of cars moving from A to B and the speed, um, as well as synchronizing the traffic lights or the stops on the public transport system. That requires to store data and to process the data very efficiently. In general, we see actually different types of data. Some of them are classified as valuable information. Some of them are just volume data, like feature surveillance data. Velocity and variety information are to be considered something like for um, special events in the city or special um, improvements with regards to the speed of the transport system. So all of the different types of information also require different ways of processing and accessing them. And for this, we provide a big data solution which allows the operator of public transport or of a road network to do exactly this. If I may move on to the next presentation here, this is actually giving a view of our Fusion Cube. Fusion Cube is a very clever converged server storage module which brings the two different things into one box, allowing the customer to really benefit from a single simple element to access the different types of information. Fusion Cube has the advantage that because of its one box structure, um, the processing and the transmission of data between the server and the access and the storage modules are very efficient and short because everything is in one box. But on top of that, because the Fusion Box is actually also a managing box, an OEM box for accessing virtual machines, I now suddenly have the ability to migrate different legacy systems, different um, technologies which have not been defined to work together. I have them all in one box and can bring information collected by these systems together, store them in one box, and on top of them now put the information together and create new information, intelligent solutions out of that. The Fusion Box is exactly the way to help the customer to put these different technologies together and to keep them and maintain them, maintaining them in a simple way. At, at this stage, we're actually showing here a, a, an example on how, in case of a roadside emergency, we bring in completely independently rolled out systems and integrate them into one solution. The example given here is that we actually go a CCTV information, um, we, we have information coming from the LTE system and information coming from satellite or 3G systems. They're being now broadcasted into kind of an emergency room, a present, a decision-taking room. So a typical emergency situation, look into uh, a smart city, you have a situation you want to manage and you want to pull all the information you have from different independent sources together into one room and you want to have access at this time at this moment of all the different devices for this room and the example we're giving here is actually showing the CCTV which could be somewhere at the roadside and at the same time we take our very basic telepresence solution which you have in, in normal back office situations where you do telepresence from one side to the other we put these two things together and suddenly you have offices talking in telepresence to each other and you connect video surveillance and public mobile radio voice communication together into one thing. And this has been showing here on our site. This is the last stage of our presentation here at the Huawei booth at ITS Japan. Um, what you see here is actually a, a live telepresence in which we merge video surveillance from a roadside camera. On the left side of the screen, you see the live stream from the telepresence. We are actually connected to another room in this conference. And at the same time, on the right side, you see the stream coming from a CCTV camera. The typical example here is you've got a roadside emergency, you've got an emergency situation in a town, and you want to pull into a control center all different types of information you have about that situation. And bring your experts together so they can decide about the same 
data and see all the same data and decide what's the best counteraction to resolve the situation. The ITS is actually a very good example to show how many different companies, how many different technologies are there to collect information. But even more importantly is to have a company aside which brings that technology together, merges all of these different things together into one location and making the data accessible to another tool to help you to operate and to be most efficient with your public transport or roadside emergencies. And this telepresence solution here is just a very small example on how the Fusion Cube, which I showed before, actually helps to add additional applications into your day-to-day -day life. With this, I conclude my presentation and thank you very much. Bye-bye.